Once again, we're here trying to figure out why my Corvette is broken. This is not making any sense anymore. It doesn't make any sense. I drive the car, it breaks. I upgrade it, it breaks again. Is it ever not gonna be broken? Last video, we lowered the car. The moment I was driving it to see how it handled once it was lowered, all of a sudden the car went into limp mode. It wouldn't accelerate. Check engine light came on, the odometer stopped working. So we gotta figure out what the hell's going on. See how it's sputtering? You hear that? Oh man, we can't have anything nice around here. It won't even crank. Oh hell <laughs> So if you're ever driving your Corvette and this issue happens to where it says reduce engine power, the car sounds like it's misfiring. You turn it off, it's not gonna wanna start back up. You're gonna try it, nothing's gonna happen. So my suggestion is just turn off the car, let it sit for a little bit, and then restart it again. Well, shit. I just recorded the whole seven minute conversation explanation about what's going on, and I had it on manual focus, so this shit wasn't even on focus. I'll tell you no, I'm not recording enough when I forget how to set up the camera properly. All right, so this is where we are right now. So I figure out how to recreate the problem every single time and it's very simple so it seems like if i hit a bump with the left side of the car whether it's a dip or a speed bump that's when the reduced power message will come on and then also it'll make you go into limb mode it makes the car sound like it's misfiring so this is one of my suspicions this is one of my theories so i think since we put the aftermarket shocks we lower the vehicle the suspension is a little bit stiffer which makes it so that when you go over a bump, there's a lot more shock going through the body of the car. Um, it could be that there's a loose grounding wire somewhere. When it gets that impact, the wire gets shifted and it loses contact. Or it could be that there's a break in the wire somewhere. It's shorting now. It's so interesting that it happened as soon as I lower the car. Like I promise you, when I lower the car, I didn't really disconnect much wires. I mean, it also could have been perfect timing with this car that happens a lot. I fixed something and that very second the new part goes in something completely not related breaks at the same exact time so i wouldn't be surprised that shit happens with this car way too many times so i'm gonna check all the areas where i work just to make sure that no wire is getting kinked no thing got disconnected that i didn't leave anything loose which i know i didn't because there's not that many things that i could have unplugged it was literally just wheel speed sensors well, the messed up thing is that if this ABS sensor somehow got damaged, then I'm kind of screwed because it is part of the wheel hub. And I had replaced that wheel hub not that long ago, which was like a $500 part. So let's hope that's not the case. I don't, that was the first thing I disconnected, so I don't feel like the wire got pulled in any way. But you never know. It may be a weak connector, so I'm going to put a zip tie through here against the other side of the plug and make sure that it's a lot tighter nothing seems to be disconnected seems to be okay on both sides unplug them replug them they're in there pretty tight another thing that i did notice is that the battery voltage was a little bit low from the car sitting for a while they have to jump start it and for sure if you're having electrical issues always make sure your battery voltage is at the proper level because if it's not things are going to be acting funny i did put the battery in a trickle charger it should be fully charged but i don't want to just drive it yet and risk having to break down again to the point where i have to tow it here or I'm just stranded somewhere. So I wanna do all my basic checks first before I drive it again. When I do hit the bump with the left side of the car, I would lose the tachometer, the check engine light will come on, I'll get that message that says reduce engine power, and then the car would start sputtering um, as if it was severely misfiring. So what I'm gonna to attempt to do first, I'm gonna check all the important grounding points. I'm not just gonna narrow down in the suspension or any of that, I'm just gonna check the whole car because this car is just stupid like that. All right, so nothing too exciting is going on right now. I'm just checking all the grounding points in the engine bay. Um, I'm, I'm gonna post a few pictures of where, where the grounding points are gonna be, but there's pretty much one right here. There's another one right back here. There's a few on the engine on both sides and some on the frame on the other side. And then also there's two at the back. I'm just gonna take them off, clean them, make sure they're tight. And we'll go from there after that. I'll start checking out the wiring harnesses make sure nothing is cracked or unplugged or kinked somewhere but before you do unplug anything just disconnect the battery just to make sure that when you take up the ground wire it's not going to hit a power wire somewhere else so um, which is not likely but still just as a precaution disconnect the battery this one's a little bit loose okay. 
Look at how shiny that is. I don't even think Mr. Clean's head is that shiny. So it should help. Um, they were definitely crusty, corroded, musty, but not anymore. I do have a list of the coats that came on. The main one is the P0651. That says reference voltage B open circuit. So there's a short somewhere, a lack of continuity somewhere in the wiring. So if you get that code by itself, it's very likely that it's either electrical or a computer issue. But I do see another code. So there's two things going on. So when this happens, I'm also losing my tachometer. So I gotta figure out what sensor works with the tachometer, whether it's the throttle body, a map sensor, whatever. Um, I'm gonna check those connections. Um, I could have a faulty sensor because I do have a code C242. And that one says, uh, well that one just says traction control malfunction. Um, I got P2135, which is a manufacturer specific code. Um, it says for the throttle position. So it's very likely, since I have those two codes combined, I'm gonna start by inspecting all the components when it comes to the pedal position sensors, the throttle body sensors. Um, if I only had the wiring code, I'd be more suspicious that it's just a computer issue. But since I have the throttle position code, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at that. Like I said, this car's stupid like that. Right now, I'm making sure that none of the connectors are damaged or broken for the throttle body, the map sensor, all the sensors that go into the engine bay, making sure the prongs for the connectors are not bent. Um, there's this little connector right here. It's a white wire that goes kind of linked to the same wiring harness as the throttle body connector. Um, it comes out of the same spot. I have no freaking clue what this is supposed to plug into. It's probably been disconnected for a while. I don't think this is the issue right here, but it'll be nice to know where it's supposed to plug into because uh, I don't remember. I have no clue. I don't know if I zip tied it there, if that's how it comes from the factory, but it definitely should have a home. It shouldn't just be hanging there. I cannot figure out where it goes for the life of me. I've been looking for a while, looking at diagrams, and I just don't know where that connector goes. So if you know, shoot it down in the comments. Well, I put everything back together on the front. Nothing outrageous, nothing out of the ordinary. I have a suspicion that the throttle body could be at fault. It's common in the GM cars for the throttle body to just take a shit randomly. Um, that could be the code that I'm seeing because I thought I had a throttle position sensor code. It turns out the throttle position sensor is built into the throttle body. Um, it's also the pedal pressure or pedal position sensor, whatever you want to call it. TPP, TP, TV, all those acronyms, they're built into one thing, and that's gonna be the throttle body. Because the code that I have means there's an issue with the five bolt reference. Whether the signal is not getting to the sensors or the sensors are not giving the right signal to the computer. So if you have a throttle body that's not telling the computer how much it's actuating, then that could be making it go into limb mode, and it could be making it so that the tachometer is not working. I mean, at this point, I might just ship it and throw a throttle body in it, see how it does. And the throttle body is not that expensive in this car, so I can get a used one or I can get a remanufactured one. And it could possibly be the fix, but I still want to test drive it and just to see if maybe I got lucky. I don't, I don't think that's the case though. I mean, I guess I suck at recording because uh, I forgot to get a new battery and I forgot to charge the GoPro. But I am driving the car, I've been driving it for a bit, and so far I haven't had any issues. So we're just cruising right now, trying to see. This is a very, very bumpy road, keep in mind. And before, as soon as I was hitting a bump, the light will go on, come on, and go into limb mode. I can't, I'm not 100% sure that this fixed the issue, but at least it's drivable. And I'm going over a lot of freaking bumps right now. First gear, I gotta change gears. Ugh. I'm holding the big ass DSLR. It's not even the full frame. It's not, I'm not even holding the full frame. I'm holding the DSLR. I'm using it as a GoPro. This exactly is where I broke down in the last video right there. Honestly, I think we may have fixed the issue because I've been driving this thing for a while and I didn't notice any issues. So I guess if it is fixed, I'm gonna post this video and a few things to keep in mind. Make sure the battery is fully charged. Not only running on 14.5 volts from the alternator but make sure the batteries have full capacity make sure it's holding a charge because that could alter the system um the electrical system and cause random fucking gremlins so battery voltage very important 
clean all the grounds. I cleaned all the ones in the engine bay, made sure the ones that go into the block were tight. And then I checked the one in the frame rail, pretty much uh, cleaned it out also. If that didn't fix the issue, you'll probably see me installing the throttle body on the next scene. If not, then that's those are the things you gotta check for if you have uh, this code come up when you're C6 Corvette. If it's ever lacking power, if it ever goes into limb mode, just check those things out pretty quick. I hope it was that simple, but we'll see. No, I'm not in heaven right now. I'm filming this in my kitchen because that's the only place where there's decent lighting. There's one thing I forgot to mention. So I didn't talk too much about the throttle body, but I did do a few things to it. I make sure the butterfly was actuated properly, make sure it was moving freely. Um, I also did clean it. And I don't know why I came up with this idea why I did it but my mechanic spidey senses told me to smack the throttle body with the rubber mallet. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea, but I did it, and that could have been the fix, but I did clean the throttle body, make sure there was no binding, make sure it wasn't physically broken. I smacked it a couple times, but pretty much we fixed the issue. I did drive the car for a long time after the video was done. I drove it hard, I drove it on corners, I stepped on it, drove it for extended periods of time, and it was fixed so if you're having this issue go to the list of things that i mentioned and let's say if you go through those things and it's still having the same codes that i showed you before then at that point it would be a good idea to replace the throttle body like i said it's a common issue on these cars and w just throw a throttle body in there you don't necessarily have to reprogram it there is a relearning procedure where you have the engine off turn the ignition on for like 30 seconds turn it off for like 30 seconds Start it, let it idle for like two minutes and then drive it. Let the computer relearn all the parameters. If you have run into this issue and there was another fix for your specific problem, post it down in the comments, post down what codes you have and just to help out the community. But that's about it. See you next week.